everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 472 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I'm trying out this Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder that I got in my May Ipsy Glam Bag. I was so excited to get this because this looks like a full size product. So if you wanna see my unbagging of my May Ipsy Glam Bag, I will link that video down below. So I just applied my liquid concealer to my under eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start out the baking process before I start talking about this product. So it does come with a plastic sticker covering the sifter. And that was actually pretty easy to take off. Sometimes they are so difficult. Now let's see if this actually comes out. Yes, it does. I kind of prefer to take the sifter out of my powder, so I like that I have the option to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and bake my under eyes. And don't worry, I'm going to do a flash test to check if there's flashback because I learned that lesson the hard way. Why is it completely necessary whenever I'm applying powder to my under eyes to make this face. Like why? I really can't help it though. <laughs> okay, but yeah, to bake, I'm putting a thick layer, well, somewhat thick, of powder on top of my concealer. And that's just going to sit there for a few minutes. I'm already nervous about this being drying though to my under eyes because it does already seem to be drying, but we'll see. I'm also going to bake my contour. So I like to take the powder from the top of like my ear or where like my ear is connected to my head and drag that to the corner of my mouth. But it depends on the contours of your face where exactly that line is going to go. But that has been what I found gives me the angle that I like. And if you're not sure what angle you should go in, if you just turn your head while looking in the mirror, you can kind of see the indent of your cheekbones and you can just follow that or you can draw it wherever you want fake it wherever you want that line to be <laughs> okay so now while i'm letting that bake i'm going to go ahead and tell you some more details about this product so this product retails for 24.50 that's what it is on the bella pierre website at the moment and so ipsy told me that this mica-based powder mattifies your skin, sets your makeup, and creates an even shine-free finish. Living that cruelty-free lifestyle? <laughs> Bella Pierre Cosmetics has your back. Love that this is cruelty-free. Like all of their formulas, this finishing powder is totally vegan and all natural. That's good. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not gonna bake my nose, but I'm just going to apply the setting powder to set my foundation. I tend to get oily on my nose and the foundation just doesn't last very well, so I like to set it. Same thing for my chin. Every single day, I apply powder to my nose and chin. And this is definitely mattifying. All right, but so now that it's been a few minutes, I'm going to brush away the baking. And I have this in translucent, so it's pure white. But I don't feel like it left a white cast behind on my skin, so that's good. But my under eyes right now are looking so wrinkly and dry. I think I just aged myself 20 years looking at my under eyes right now. Yikes. But so, so 
Sometimes that happens with setting powders, especially mattifying ones like this. They can be really drying to your skin. So if you're like me and you have lines on your under eye or anywhere, I would recommend not baking with this or using too much of it because it is just going to really dry it out. But I'm not having any creasing anymore and I have the coverage staying in place from the concealer, but because of those wrinkles, I don't really like the look of it. But I'm going to do a flash photo test and test if there is any flashback. And I will insert that horrifyingly scary image here. And you can see there's no flashback, so that's good. So all in all, I think that this powder did a good job of serving its purpose. It just comes down to if this is the type of powder that works well for your skin. So on my oilier places of my face, my nose, my chin, places where I wanna keep it matte, this is a good product to use there. But for my under eyes, I'd wanna use less of a drying type of powder. So I'm not unhappy with this, it's just lesson learned on how to use it. If you've tried this product before, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And also let me know if you've ever tried anything from the brand Bella Pierre, because I've never tried anything from them before and I've never even heard of them, but I'm always open to trying new products, new brands. So if you have any recommendations, let me know about that in the comments down below as well. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.